So I've got to ask my two legally mandated questions, which is how have you been? How have comic books been? Kate, I'm going to kick it over to you real quick. Yeah, I've been pretty good. I feel like there's a lot happening, at least in my life, for comic books. For example, um, Brian gave me his old iPad, so I have a slightly Ooh. larger tablet now with which to read digital comics. Um, and I noticed that Hoopla has a whole bunch of November uh, bonus borrows, which means that if you have Hoopla through your library, you can get into this collection and you can read everything in there without using any of your borrows for the month, which means that you oh, get... Nice. All of these books, plus plus your limit from your library. So I've been reading a lot of digital books. I do still have some physical books out from the library from like three months ago. And I've, really, I Kate? You of all them. people? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll try to get around to that <laughs> library. Please <laughs> don't be mad. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I uh, most recently read Kaya Volume 2. This is by Wes Craig. Um, if you have lis been listening to the co the podcast for a little while, Kara and I did a mini-sode on this back on Volume 1 back in July, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we talked about that, and we compared it with another book, and I came out a big fan of the other book that we talked about. But I'm also a big fan of Kaya, <laughs> and I definitely wanted to read Volume 2. Heck yeah. Um, this book is set in a world where robots have mostly wiped out humans. There are lizard people, and there are also mutant people. And there are civil wars just everywhere. Everything is very tense. Um, and we follow Kaya, who is a girl with a metal arm, trying to protect her younger half-brother, Jin, who was raised with the understanding that he's the golden one and will save humanity. And basically, Volume 1 was a good time with the, with the journey. It was very fantastical. You met a lot of interesting characters, but it left me with a whole lot of questions. Um, okay. And I feel like Volume 2 did do a pretty good job of answering a lot of those questions like we get mm -hmm. we get we get to spend more time with the the hot lizard love interest seth which was very important to me <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot there was a lot of uh lustiness for this lizard yes. man I forgot. <laughs> um and we get we do get um the answer about kaya's metal arm um i really appreciated the time that was spent on that after all of my questions from volume one um, mm -hmm. And we also get um, we get some answers about Jen's um, the story that Jen is the golden one. We actually um, I feel like volume two is like from Jen's perspective, whereas volume one was from Kaya's perspective. So like this was a really interesting switch because in volume one, like Jen is the little brother that Kaya has to protect. And that that's it. Like that is the core of the story. Sure. Um, and in volume two, Jen is like exploring um, his own thoughts about this this story that he's been raised with, and then we get to see a little bit of like how much of it is true, um, and and the story kind of gets into that. And so I I really liked that shift in perspective. Um, and then I feel like I need to to credit the artist with um, with how well they managed all of the different elements of this story because you have all of those different races of people that I mentioned. You've got different architecture for mm -hmm. their cultures. You've got all of these environments that the characters move through in the story and it's just all handled so well um everything like maintains this kind of fantastical look to it including the character design for the humans mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. also it, like but but it all stays unique like you're never like which character was this i kind of had that a little bit in volume one there was two characters i kept getting confused but that that wasn't a problem in this volume um so yeah, I think it was just really a well done sequel. Um and and the story isn't over. Like there is um <clears throat> there is a page in the rear matter that says um volume 3 will be um back in uh spring of next year. So nice. I am looking forward to more of this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Wes Craig's art is always impressive i feel like now that there's two volumes of this series out i probably should go back and read it and i told myself i was going to trade weight volume one and then i never got around to reading yeah. volume one and so now that there's two volumes out i feel like this is the poke that i need to actually go and dig into this because i i really love west craig's work um but i feel like the first issue of kaya really didn't grab me but you and kara really sold how awesome this book seems so like i probably just need to dig into it yeah, I, I had read issue one a while mm -hmm. before I read volume one. And I, and I didn't, like, it wasn't something that I was like, oh, I have to read volume two. But once it was out in, in trade and Kara was like, hey, we need to read this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed sitting down and reading the entire first arc mm -hmm. at, at once. And then, and then, of course, the second arc. 
So nice. Well, hey, um, so s- since you said that there were two characters you couldn't tell apart in the first volume, but that you didn't have that problem in the second volume, I was wondering if there are any other ways that you noticed that the art sort of developed or grew over time. Um, so mostly th- one of those characters just isn't in the second volume. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy way to solve um, that. <laughs> but I did, I feel like um, they actually did transform the remaining character at the end of volume one. You see that as part of the story. Like he he goes through a physical change. So mm. even like, I don't know, his like his character was design was a little bit different and it was, it was good. Like he definitely was a more, in comparison to the other lizard people who were around, which were not as many, which is also part of the reason that it was easier. Um, I, yeah, I feel like he was much more noticeable on the page. Mm-hmm.